Hi, this is example number three uh, of ex uh, section 17.1. We want to calculate the radius of duration of this pendulum about an axis perpendicular to the plane of motion. So if we want to uh, write a coordinate system right here, x, y, it will be uh, in c axis, which is perpendicular to the plane. And we want to do it uh, passing through a point which is g, which is the center of mass. The center of mass must be somewhere around here. But we have to calculate that point first in order to calculate the moment of inertia and the radius of gyration uh, respect to that point. So the first thing that we're going to do in the, the solution is calculate the solution, calculate g. We will want to calculate it in terms of y, right? y will be all the additions of all the masses over the total mass. Since we have only two masses, that will be then equals to, so the first mass is this rod, and the center of mass of that rod will be, if the total length is two meters, it will be one meter, right? One meter times the mass, which is three, plus the center of that plate, which will be, if this is two meters and it's in the middle of that, it's 225, two times 25 times five over the total and that gives me, so I put that in uh, positive values, but actually, of course, if we use this coordinate system, let's make it, so that will be negative 1.781 meters. And we always have to check our results. It's very important. See, if <coughs> the total value is 2, we actually, know that it has to be lower than the center of mass of our rod, it has to be close to our plate, but not over our plate. So that looks like a correct number. The second thing that we are going to do is calculate our mass moment of inertia about g. So to be able to calculate the, the mass moment of inertia about that uh, specific point that we already calculated, we will use the, the parallel axis theorem. So we know that the moment of inertia of E, respect to E in C, we know that we are calculated uh, uh, in the axis that is uh, uh, perpendicular to our plane of motion, we already said that, will be the one for the rod plus the one for the plate. So let me calculate that individually. So the one for the rod will be in the center of mass of the rod, right? In C plus the mass of the rod, the distance between these two. And that distance will be 1.781 minus 1 square. And that will be equals to what is the inertia about the c-axis in the center of mass of the c-axis. You know that, or if you don't know, you can look at the table that is in the book or that is in the theory that I, uh, in the theory slides. So that's 112 times mass times the, long, the, the length square. So and that will be square. And that's 112, the mass is 3, and the length is 2, plus 2, no, the mass is 3, sorry, let me erase that, 2, the mass is 3, 1.781 minus 1 square. So, that moment of inertia of the rod respect to that point is equals to 2830 kilograms meters square. Okay, so that's my first value. And the second value 
is the one for the plate. And that will be, well, writing that the same, that will be well, the plate plus mass of the plate times the distance. And in this case, the distance will be 225 minus 1.781 squared. So the inertia for the plate, you can also look up that in the table, is uh, 112. The mass of the plate, and here you have to put the, this, the, the both dimensions square. So it will be 0 0.5 square plus 1 square, plus the mass, which is 5, plus that distance, 2.225 minus 1.781 squared. And actually, I can put also the plate right here, the mass of the plate right here, so we can calculate it right away. So that gives me, as a result, that the inertia from the plate respect to g in c axis will be equals to 1.621 kilograms meters square. So we add those two. So here, we come back here, and the total uh, mass moment of inertia will be 4.45 kilograms meters square. So that's my first result that is very important, which is the total mass moment of inertia respect to the center of mass of the whole body. And finally, we can calculate what we were asked to calculate, which is the radius of gyration. And you remember, the radius of gyration, we can say over that point, will be equals to the square root of the mass moment of inertia over the mass. And here, we have to put the total mass. So that will be the square root of 4 0.45 divided by 8 kilograms. And then we take the root of that, and then we get the result, which is equals to 746 meters. And that's the result of the radius of duration. So just to make uh, 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 the point clear, that we calculated the radius of duration respect to the center of mass of the whole figure, but we could have been asked to calculate it, for example, respect to the center of rotation, which is O. In this case, we would have not have to subtract that distance. So you have to be careful what you're being asked to calculate, and it's very important to calculate the distance regarding the point that you are being asked to calculate the distance. You can also see the solution in the PowerPoint presentation.